Are Filipinos half Asian and half Latino? The internet is still debating this, and we're here with a Filipino comedian to try to figure this out. Oh, we're gonna settle it once and for all. Joining us today is Marcus Cardona. What up? What's up? One of the funniest comedians that people may or may not know about yet. Marcus, let me just ask you the question that I've seen it on Reddit, Quora, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Random colloquial Instagram discussions. Is it true that Filipinos are half Latino and half Asian? Um, I'll explain this in the best way that I can figure it out, which is uh, we identify as Asian, but are Spanish inspired like a fusion restaurant. Oh! <laughs> I'm but it's a tasty even... fusion restaurant, yeah, right? Yeah, dude, dude. It's, it's, it's what happens, dude. Is our uh, Latinos who are Latina girls who are into anime Filipino? We don't know. We'll figure it out. The Spanish, <laughs> they identify as Marcus Asian. Marcus is like, hey, if you're Latina and into anime, um, we gotta, this was sparked by a Reddit meme that says, I'm going to watch Encanto and Turning Red. They seem fun. Hispanic generational trauma, Asian generational trauma, both beating up a Filipino. What do you think of this? I mean that meme. That meme hits, dude. Like it's the that's the that's the common ground in Canto between <laughs> Filipinos and uh, Asians and like Spanish people and Filipinos just in the middle being like, we'll take all that pain. It's fine. We're good. For it. <laughs> what <laughs> side of it was Asian or what, I, I guess which side of Encanto do you guys relate to? Um, for Filipinos, yeah. all the singing, all the singing parts for sure. <laughs> we we don't talk about Bruno. I'm like Bruno so, Mars. Like what's up? <laughs> so does this mean since Filipinos exist, does this mean that uh, Latino culture and Asian culture have a lot more in common than we all think? I mean, I know that there are similarities. Yeah, I think I definitely think that it's crossing over for sure. Especially here in New York, uh, half the time I'm like. Are you Filipino? It's just like, nah, just like a Latino with like wingtips, but it's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, that's, just, that's just real. But at the same time, I think that luckily uh, Asian culture has moved forward, but like we're the, we're like the physical embodiment of like the cultures coming together. So a lot of people in the middle will find like hang us, hang out with us. You know what is underrated though? The Pacific Islander element, because how, you know what I've noticed? Like sometimes nowadays people are like, hey, are we half Hispanic or half Asian? But the discussion in the past 10, 20 years ago was, are we Pacific Islander or are we Asian? Like, when did the discussion switch to be like Hispanic or Asian? Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, there's been a, sh do you notice that? Like, yeah, I, well, I, I'll speak from personal experience. Is it because reggaeton got bigger? Because <laughs> the dancing vibes? For sure. I think that definitely like someone found a sample and then mixed it in. Um, but I also think that for the most part, when they introduced Pacific Islander on tax forms, uh, I checked it just because I'm like, maybe I'll get a refund or something. Right. I have no idea. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the argument there is because now I think more people have met Pacific Islanders after like, oh, are you like related to the rock? I'm like, no, that's a Pacific Islander or a Tongan. And I'm like, nope, like Samoan. Like we, we all want that, but we don't have the height for it. Otherwise the Philippines would be crushing in basketball for sure. Because if we had more Pacific Islander. Right. But I, I think you guys uh, don't get the full Pacific Islander card because there's not enough uh, Filipino linemen. Yeah. No, that's true too. <laughs> yeah, dude. Nope. That's, that's, that's fair. There's not enough linemen or like. People who can dunk. Yeah, yeah. What's yo, up? No, I, was, I, was like, I was just raising question. my hand. I was just raising my hand like a super Asian. I was like, I have a quantitative uh, breakdown of what I think is your median Filipino. Mm -hmm. I think your median Filipino. You mean is, most common Filipino. Yeah, your most it? common Filipino. And this is in general with the Philippines, America. I know it could be different, right? Is 65% Asian. 20%. No, no. Yes, yeah, 65% Asian. <laughs> 15% Latino, and that puts us as what, 80? 20% <laughs> Pacific Islander. Okay, that's fair. That's, yeah, that's fair. I mean, Pacific Islander as in we like identify with Moana and Lilo a lot, for sure. Uh, it's character. Hey, no, you so, got, so, no, but what, what about that split? Andrew, come up with your split between the three. And if, the tattoos. If, if there's three pie slices. Also, I want to see if you have better Kumon math skills right now. Yeah, I can't believe I, I, I messed up. You like know what? I actually have another number in my head, but 50, I had to switch it. I think, it's, uh, I think it's a little bit more Asian. I, I would say it's 72% Asian. And then I think it's, uh, I think the average Filipino was only 10% Hispanic or let Latino, yeah. like Spanish, right? Maybe up to t around 10, less than 8%, 10%. And then the rest is uh, Pacific Islander. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah. but then again, what is Pacific Islander? Because uh, what Japan is a Pacific Islander. Japan is not. I know Pacific. it's not a Pacific <laughs> island. But I'm just saying Asia. It's, it's <laughs> islands in the Pacific. But I'm yeah. saying where do we make the cut? Guam, right? If you're Guam Samoan uh, blood, right? You know, yeah. Filipino Indonesian blood is that Pacific yeah. Island? I need the splits between the three. Oh, the split between if you, the if three. You, you okay. can throw in a fourth me, if you want. Me personally, okay. I'd say I'd say it's like uh, 80 percent. 80% Asian. I'd say like a little higher on there. Okay. Like no matter what, like we're watching Asians are watching K dramas over like telenovelas. Like that's gonna be it. Um for oh, Filipinos. That's a good way of putting it. Okay. Um I'd say ten percent Spanish, depending on uh depending on how many uh traditional garbs you have from the colonizers, uh from our people. What's up? Um and then I'd say an equal ten percent. Pacific Islander, depending on how close you are to the water and if you like swimming. Wait, wait. Also, <laughs> also, doesn't it matter how if you have the more Filipino last name or the Spanish last name? Yeah, but also at the same time, it's rare. Like I have Cardona's a like a Spanish last name, and then I have four names like Spanish tradition Christian like type vibe. Uh-huh. Um, but I wouldn't say that that is like Dude, just because of the name. And, and you know, I knew a Filipino growing up from Eastern Washington. His name was Khalid. Muhammad, I think, and he was from uh, Mindanao. Yeah, he Mindanao. Was, he, was, he was a Muslim. So, yeah. you know what I mean? It's not, there's even a lot of variation depending on when you. Go yeah, once you want, yeah, once you go to the islands, it varies. It's uh, it's like a brook, it's like a New York borough. It's like yeah. a Filipino, but not. Yeah, it's <laughs> funny because on a lineup, if you got Filipino comedians, you could have like a Jose Rodriguez and then a Patricia Dinglis on, yeah. on the same bill. And you're like, ah, oh, they're both Filipino. Uh, my question is, <clears throat> when it comes to the rise of it, this whole Asian wave that everybody's talking about, re- Asians are coming up, Asians are representation, representation. Do you feel in your heart that it includes Filipinos? Are Filipinos still benefiting from it? What is happening? What's your opinion? Um, I definitely think Filipinos are benefiting from it, especially if there's a black audience. I'm going to be completely honest. <laughs> but I think there's like a crossover like within like the, like with, with depending on which Asians you are catering towards, like the younger like hip hop oriented or like the traditional like, business Asian because like there's two different like specters of like that like that's Asian, real talk, a- it's real talk. A- Asians who wear suits at the club or Asians who are still rocking out with their chains and like everything out going elsewhere um I think yeah Filipinos are definitely involved there uh I think that if you have an Asian party and there isn't a Filipino there is less chance of karaoke or more fun happening um <laughs> same thing with like other Asians being there like if you have Cambodians, there might be a fight. When, like, it just increases the odds. Yes. <laughs> Slip that in. <laughs> that, uh, um, that's just real. <laughs> are Filipinos still the coolest Asians, or have they been supplanted by South Koreans? Ah, uh, dude, Koreans. Uh, dude, there are Filipinos yes. who are auditioning for K-pop groups who have learned Korean, gotten the skin bleaching, gotten right. the contacts, dyed the hair. I dyed my hair. It's fine. This isn't a Filipino inspiration. This is... K-pop for sure, <laughs> but <laughs> um, but I do think yeah I'm still I'm still a hundred percent like proud to be Filipino. I still wrap that on my no, chest. but I, but I feel like and this is just anecdotally. It's not to say like Filipinos uh, like it's just growing up. Filipinos were like undoubtedly the coolest Asians because they were also the most Americanized, most hip hop. Yeah, they played the most basketball. They had like they had all the markings that when you were growing up in like the two thousands, when you were like a adult kid back then, you were like yo. Filipinos, they were the most involved in hip hop rappers. Any yep. rapper that came out you thought was probably Filipino. And then in the past like 10 years, it seemed like just the media from the Korean side and the East Asian side just got so much better, but in a more fobby, different way. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like it, Filipinos are still the most coolest Americanized Asians from what I know. Yeah. Uh, as far as I, I know, I think it's just because we're just easier to communicate with. Because if you go to a Korean hype beast, you'll get shut down anyone yeah. <laughs> so i think that that might be the interpretation i still like you know i i do think that no matter what all the success of every asian like filipinas are in that like group but when do we get to like rotate to the front of the group we we don't know we'll see <laughs> right right i'm right. Uh, moving on this is another thing i pulled from reddit by the way when i'm pulling from reddit i'm saying reddit slash filipino american <laughs> reddit slash filipino reddit slash philippines what is going on with the ongoing internet beef but potentially irl beef between Filipinos in the Philippines and Phil Lambs. What are you aware of this? Because I actually wasn't super aware of it until I just looked it up. Yeah, no, my algorithm uh, told me that my cousin had beef with me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that no matter what, like, again, I think it's it's a definitely an ego pride thing. Um, and there is, like, a whole sense of uh, pure Pino, which Filipinos love 
bring that up, which is like even like we have phrases for like half Filipinos, like mestizo and stuff like that to differentiate like the tiers of it. And then um, there are black Filipinos like uh, APL from like black eyed peas. And like, you know, there's a whole tier system. But within just the beef between Filipinos and Filipino Americans, I think that it's um, Filipino Americans like losing touch with like the language. Like a lot of us don't speak the language as well as we could. And obviously, like, people in the Philippines get offended by that. But at the same time, I think Filipino-Americans, um, we like to rep the culture as much, but not in the same way that Filipinos and the Philippines want us to. So when Filipino Filipinos see us being like, oh, we're Filipino-American, like, doing the culture and, like, repping as much as we can, uh, it's like seeing someone cosplay a culture. That's how I that's how I've interpreted it. And I see it from like, especially like watching those TikToks and like people being like, anyway, these Filipino Americans, like that's the entire vibe that they give, uh, between the beef. Which, which side are you on? Are you repping hard for a Phil M gang? Or are you more with uh team Philippines <laughs> or you're, you, you see both sides. Um, I see both sides. Like, I think that for the most part, at the same time, I don't think that Filipino, Filipino, like the Filipino Filipinos who are vlogging and like uploading like TikToks about this, they haven't been to the States, so they also don't understand the situation. Or if they do go to the States, they just see the Filipino dominant areas like the Bay Area mm. or like maybe like they go to New York one time. Do you think it's interesting, man? I always thought this was interesting because like the Philippines is such a huge English speaking market. A lot of people, high English literacy. I mean, that's why sometimes when you call tech support, it's actually coming from the Philippines now, not just India. Hello, this is Kyle. Yes. <laughs> Hello, my name is George. How can I help you? And then I'm like, Chase Bank? <laughs> After no. the call, please take a time to take yeah. a short uh, survey. Salamat po. Yeah. I was like, but, uh, <laughs> I was like, all right. No, so they speak really good English. But... um and uh, nothing's like blocked. They're all on their phone. So it's a huge social media market. So on all these posts about Filipino American things, you can see a bunch of comments from Filipinos from the Philippines. And that's not like every Asian market, you know, because a lot of other Asians like Chinese from China, they're not, maybe it's not as big of a market to be speaking, leaving comments in English on Instagram. Same with like Koreans. So it's like, you kind of like, you guys get to communicate with your fob counterparts like directly, yep. which is interesting. Same, same so it's like, what's it like being able to talk with the with the fobs? Because I guess yeah. for other Asians, we unless we're good at our mother language, it's hard to yeah. yeah. Talk about with. Um, I'd say it's it's fine because at least you get to see how up to date they are on slang. Because I've definitely seen like some comments been like, oh. They just learned Riz. This is great. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, but at the same time, I think that even though we have like commute, like we can like communicate clearer. I think that the viewpoints are so separate that even if communication's great, like the viewpoints are so misguided. Because again, like Filipino Filipinos want to see themselves represented in America, but they want someone who just came fresh off the boat and is out there like repping versus like someone who grew up in America has a completely different experience from overseas and then doesn't necessarily represent what they wanted back home. All right, let's play this. <coughs> what can you guys unite on? How can Philams and Filipino from Philippi the Filipinos and the Philams unite on things and team up? How can you guys benefit from each other? Okay, so uh, one, um, we can benefit off food. We are the biggest spokespersons for Filipino food. That's like the one thing. Every food, like there are no hateful comments in a Filipino food section unless it's like family members and that's out of love. Um, but I'd say like singing, like no matter what, it, it, it feels weird because I'm like, these are the big stereotypes. It's singing and dancing. No matter what, I've never seen like a Filipino like group. I've seen like a million Filipino flags go underneath in emojis underneath every singing dancing of a filipino and also not fully filipino one percent filipino will claim that shit we'll be like yo that's ours that's our team w would you marry a, a filipino woman like from the philippines like a kind of a fobby yeah but is that is that within <laughs> yeah just say, i would just say it right now i would okay uh yeah i would but like how like what's the green card situation what are we doing here uh, <laughs> um, it's legit love it's 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 love but also am i being bought i was just like okay um but yeah no i i think that like there's enough within the culture but also at the same time i think that it would also be a lot of me like It'd be very rom-com-esque as a relationship where I'm teaching a lot about America and Philippines. You know what? If Netflix wants to throw me a show about this, I'll do this. <laughs> I, I, I really would like to see Mong Inasal, which is Jollibee's owned other like chicken and rice chain, 
make it to the US, to the US but they're US, gonna yeah. not have to call it Mong in a saw. They probably yeah. have to call it like manila chicken or something. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. You gotta you gotta change I it. I think that that could be a good <laughs> that could be with the garlic rice and then the, just the chicken thigh. Could yeah, be a good point. I, I, Marcus, I don't know if you knew this, but a Filipino food sometimes gets a bad rep kind of based off how it looks or like how texture. Yeah, and like, you know, there's it's not the top sorry to break the news. It's not the top Asian food. But yep. Thai what people. are <laughs> no, what are the the Thai is killing it right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They smacking home <laughs> runs. Me. I don't even know if Chinese is. I think Thai food <laughs> might be, but um, what are the top Filipino dishes that that you think could cross over more into America that could be more popular in America? Like we know lumpia is good. Yeah. Uh, lechon. I mean, roast pig. Yep. No one hates on roast pig, but Except the roast pig is like everybody. <laughs> everybody eats roast pig, but I would say lumpias are. A superior egg roll. Yeah. I'll give you that. But like, what else? Um, I'd say palabok, which is it, and it's not Filipino spaghetti. There's a big difference. It has like it has texture, it has crunch, it has seafood and chicken. I think that's another weird combination because as soon as you start mixing meats, people freak out about that. Um, I'd say yeah, palabok definitely up there. Um, Would you get at Jollibee's? Yeah. Uh, Kinalao, which uh, if this is for like the pickled people, because this is coconut vinegar and everything like that. Kinalao with seafood, like that's like a ceviche. That should cross over for sure. Um, and then even like just Filipino paella, because I'm like, again, Spanish influence. I'm like, it's there, but I was just like, no, we want real paella. I'm like, okay, have you tried this paella? So, Ooh, Filipino yeah. paella. Yeah. Oh. Or is it faella? Faella. <laughs> we swap out. <laughs> that, it's actually, yeah, faella. We just mispronounced it. <laughs> Uh, last but not least, I got the breakdown. You know, I, I had to say this, Andrew. We were supposed to do a video with AJ Raphael years ago called the five or seven types of Filipinos, but then we were going to need to do it for like every race. So we ended up not doing it because I didn't know how people were going to take it. I had to think of archetypes for all these different things. And so things, uh, what are the different commonly seen archetypes of Filipino Americans? I just starting off the one off the top of my head. I got dancer, the choreo dancer. Maybe B boy. I know the B boy crowd. They don't yeah. like the choreo crowd. The choreo crowd. They don't. You know what I mean. Uh, like Brian, we got some Brian Pusposes and like everyone who was a Jabberwocky. Majority of the Jabberwockies are Filipino. With those masks off, flat noses. Right, right. Um, but um, yeah, that's definitely up there uh, for the the hip hop one. I definitely have also played in that role <laughs> for sure. And that's also um, you know how to B boy or do choreo. Yeah, I used to. Yep. I'm oh like I'm, I'm. And well, you used to be a nurse. And I used to be a nurse. Oh I, my like, goodness. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna evolve into like one of the older Filipinos. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I feel like a lot of hoopers, yeah. at least amongst the guys. A lot of guys who play basketball, pretty a lot of hours a week. Yeah, there are. I've ne I've never seen more jerseys of Kobe than in the Philippines. <laughs> and same thing with LeBron, but it's mostly Kobe in LA. They're all LA Lakers fans. Um, hype beast. Yep, the hype beast for sure, man. Um, definitely like shoes. It's always going to be a flex. And I'll say this: it, we we're just like talking about the younger Filipinos, older Filipinos, the Titas. Their hype beast essentially. You never see like the brand flex more than those ladies. Right, right. <laughs> but instead of like ALD, it's like. What? LB, y oh yeah, right? YSL, <laughs> all that stuff. Um, the Christian guy. Yep, the Christian guy. guy the right? guy, and this also crosses over with singing Filipinos because they got good somewhere, and it was the choir. <laughs> so. right. sure. hey, shout out to AJ. <laughs> I feel like AJ. Would you say the singing uh, choir church Filipinos are even generally speak Tagalog better too? Yeah, they do because they have to, they have to learn. They also have to learn the the, the Tagalog songs for like the choir. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I feel like that they tend to be a little bit more Filipino. Yeah, 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 for mm -hmm. sure. Like, but th that's like that's like the out. Like it's like oh are you, can can you dance? No, I can sing my way into God's like heaven, but also fame. <laughs> like that's it. That's like the vibe. <laughs> uh, I remember I was in L.A. and you'd be at a restaurant, and then during like uh, some to like a Filipino with a guitar and a Filipino singer would walk into even a a Mexican restaurant. Be singing Feliz singing, Navidad. Yeah, and start singing all different types of songs, but even Feliz Navidad in Spanish, but they'd be <laughs> Filipino. And they were just spreading the, the gospel and the uh, holiday cheers. You yeah, know? It's, it's, it's more approachable than like, do you have a moment to speak to Jesus? And they're all like, right. I'll sing you. I, I got a group. I got the old school hip hop Tito, who he used to DJ, maybe DJ at a wedding, maybe DJed for Snoop Dogg, Warren yeah. G. Back he might have a graffiti book. He probably can MC a little bit, do some rhyming. Yeah. And he, he definitely is like the, the leader of the one headphone on, one headphone off, yeah. constantly talking to you. <laughs> like, yo, what's good? Well, I, I don't want to forget about this Filipino, the nerdy geek Filipino that is more like uh, anime, folk, like the Comic-Con Filipino. Like when I oh, went to yeah. Comic-Con and even I've been to Anime Con, believe it or not, and there were so many more Filipinos than I thought. Like they just like Filipinos are into subculture. Like yeah. they 
Like these were some geeky that, Filipinos, is this, is the this, collectors. You may be I, no, associated, no, no, no. affiliated with this. I, I, you got I, a Mega, I, Man, I, Mega I, Man costume at home? I, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm not a collector, but I get it. I get it. But also, I think that's its own brand flex because I'm like, yo, I got the official Yu-Gi-Oh. Look, I got the I got the Pokemon <laughs> first edition. It's one it's, of 400. We're, we're, we're all like, I don't need to do that cosplay stuff. <laughs> I am a purist. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I also I also see the nerdy Filipinos. That's definitely that's definitely up there. We see you guys. Uh, and thank you for making white women accept us easier because yeah. they're, they're, we're the stars. <laughs> uh, is there any other ones that we're, that we're leaving out? Like, because you even have some different archetypes within your own family, right? That are like Yeah, not- yeah. I'd, I'd definitely say within the Filipino community, like right now we have like the ones who don't claim that they're good at singing or dancing. Sort of reject uh, yeah. the macro stereotypes. Or they're the ones that just are like, hey, I know that this is like a big thing of our culture, but I can't like fulfill it. They're, they're like the elves who can't make toys. They're just like they're they're part of it. I'm Anti. not singing Mariah Carey at like at every, like everybody else at karaoke. Yeah, yeah, and it's 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 unfortunate, but it's it's like you know they're still there, good for a good vibe, and also Filipinos who can't cook. Those are the big three that are being like kind of like where like support groups are being started because I'm like I'm supposed to be good at one of them, but I'm not good at one of them. And I'm like all right, um, but I think that they're like no matter what, as long as like you're happy to be like within the company of Filipinos, but also at the same time. Being a person who just includes everyone. I think that's also another thing of Filipino culture is just hospitality. Because even though these are separate groups, every group kind of like will try to like expand to like include everyone. Mm. I would agree with that. It's not like uh, this group that's like, oh, I'm the hip hop Filipino. Oh, you're the guitar Filipino. We're beefing. Yep. No, yep. it'll be still like love at uh, FASA. What's it called? Friendship Days. <laughs> Shout out to Friendship Days. You know Shout about. out to Friendship Days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, let us know uh, what you think of all our breakdowns of the Reddit questions in the comments section below. And uh, it's just an interesting talk. You know, I always want to tell people these talks are not designed to divide people. They're designed to just delve more into like something that's very real and unite people while acknowledging people's real differences. Yo, check out Marcus Cardona. Where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at Marcus Cardona and also all other social media threads. And also, if you guys want a game, uh, I'm also on Twitch at neurotic underscore fodder. All right. Hell yeah. Wait, neurotic fire? Neurotic fodder. Yeah. All right, guys. Marcus Cardona, everybody. (laughs) What the hell does that mean? All right. Check him out. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Peace.